Hi, Owen Menem here with the Cisco WebEx TAC team. Today, I'm going to walk through how to renew your Azure AD certificate for WebEx. You might need to do this when Azure or WebEx alerts you to let you know that your certificate is going to expire soon and needs to be renewed. As an important note, this guide is specifically for Azure AD SSO configurations. Other IDP types may vary in needed configurations and steps needed. Additionally, make sure to complete this during a scheduled maintenance window as SSO issues can affect users being able to sign in and use WebEx services. First, log into WebEx Control Hub, go to Org Settings, and scroll down to the Authentication section. Click on Manage SSO and IDPs. Here, you'll be presented with your IDP or more if you have multiple configured for your organization. Towards the top, you can see a warning telling me that my certificate for Azure is going to expire soon. In order to prevent issues for users not being able to sign in, we recommend getting this certificate renewed. Click Renew IDP Certificate. Here, you'll see a window appear asking you to upload your IDP metadata from Azure. Here, we're going to go to Azure AD Enterprise Apps, where you see the app that you're using for SSO. We can see that the certificate is expiring soon. Click on the app and select Single Sign-On. Here, scroll down to Step 3. The date shown here should match the date displayed in Control Hub for the expiry date. Click Edit beside the Active Cert, and a pop-up will appear displaying all certificates for this app. Here, we're going to click New Certificate to generate a new certificate for SSO. Once created, click Save to finish creating the certificate. Once done, a message will appear stating that the certificate was successfully updated. Now, click the three dots beside the New Inactive Certificate and select Make Certificate Active you could acknowledge the certificate warning. Once the process is complete, you'll see your new certificate showing is active and the old certificate is moved to the inactive state. You can now exit this pop-up and return to the Azure SSO Overview section for WebEx. If the correct expiration date is showing for your new certificate, you can click Download beside the Federation Metadata XML. Take this XML file and return to Control Hub where we left off in step one of renewing the IDP certificate. Select the certificate signature method you want to use in this case, I'm going to select More Secure and then upload the XML file I generated from Azure AD and click Save. Next, you'll be presented with settings for just-in-time provisioning and SAML mappings. We can skip this section. Hit Next. Finally, you'll be brought to the Test SSO section. Here, select Test SSO to confirm your changes succeeded. Here, you can see that my changes work and SSO is working. Return back to the SSO configuration window and select Close if your SSO changes worked. If not, select Cancel and your changes are not applied. From here, you can test further by opening an incognito window to ensure users can sign in. If the certificate warning still appears in Control Hub, please sign out of Control Hub and back in and the date should reflect the new certificate expiration. Thank you for watching.